The podcast you are listening to of Holmberg's Morning Sickness is brought to you by my friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat. Trust me on this one. You've had barbecue before, but you haven't had it this good. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Eric'sFamilyBBQ.com. Eric's Family Barbecue has arrived and is simply the best barbecue in Arizona. Come satisfy your taste buds with meats that are smoked over mesquite wood and sides that are made with fresh ingredients and tons of love. They have the best, juiciest brisket, pulled pork, rib sausage, turkey, or everyone's favorite, the Pitmaster Sampler that includes all the meat and four sides, mac and cheese, potato salad, coleslaw, corn, or beans, yum. And for dessert, try some creamy banana pudding. Amazing! Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meat, mesquite, repeat. Make the trip. You won't be sorry. Dine in or take it to go. Go to Eric's Family Barbecue bbq.com for more info uh, it's just about time for the brady report before we get to that we got to talk to jeremy and prior to that i want to say a lot of folks are starting their day off with a uh, delightful cup of that uh, five alarm brew the coffee i got an email from andy who said just wanted to say the coffee i bought yesterday at action ride shop was awesome i enjoyed a great cup this morning thanks to you and the guys for being so friendly to a ghoul like me uh, and by the way, my dog Lulu loved the attention. That guy had a cool. That dog was cool. Yeah, yeah. It was an awesome yeah. kind of mix uh, labradoodle, wire haired labradoodle, which I'd never seen. He was awesome. So thank you, Andy. It was nice to see you. So there it is. Drew. Uh, that was very kind of him. And a lot of people do that. I'm not a coffee guy. And I, the, my car, by the way, smells so good because I had those bags of coffee in there. And I forgot yesterday because we were doing our goodbye yeah. party, got in the car. <laughs> Oh, it's it's roasting in the car. It's, I love the smell of coffee beans so much more than the taste. But this stuff's great. Head over to Action Ride Shop. It helps the uh, Phoenix Firefighters Charities. It's a good cause. It's actually a good cup of joe. You can have that. Uh, where is he? Jeremy's out this morning at Hayden and Indian. That's where he is. Is he on the line yet? Yes, he is. All right. Jeremy, are you there? I'm here, sir. Hello, Jeremy. Welcome. Welcome. How you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks. <laughs> what, what you up to out there? Just hanging out, Johnny. We're just That's hanging what I figured. Out. All right. Well, thanks for calling. <laughs> well, we're out, we're out here at the Albertsons at the Indian Bend in Hayden collecting water for Operation Hydration. We actually already have like a quarter of a truck full. People have already stopped nice. by. A uh, Scottsdale police officer stopped by. Didn't want us to use his name, but he donated a huge cartload of water. So huge thanks to him. He is out there uh, working, he said. So keep it hush hush. But thank you to him. He's out there listening. And uh, So come on out. I'm signing up for Slipknot and Corn Tickets. Got some stuff to give away. Come on out. Say hi and uh, donate some water. There you go. There used to be a Kenny Rogers Roasters I'd go to in that parking. I know yeah. you know it. Yeah. <laughs> Freddie's yeah. nodding. Yeah. He's affirming my my memory of that. I used to live on Chaparral. Mm-hmm. The Arizona Burrito Company. That um, Burrito Company. Burrito. And very, you're very close yeah. with them. Yeah. Oh, so. I think there's Arizona Burrito, burrito Company. Potato, there's a in sushi fact, joint there. One time, we stopped golfing at the golf course that runs behind it and went into the Arizona Burrito Company, and they went, Brady! <laughs> and we got burritos. I remember that now. And they were free wrapped, like they knew he was coming. I forgot about that. Uh, so you're at the Albertsons. Hayden and Indian Ben, Operation Hydration, and uh, Jeremy, we will talk to you in a little bit. All right. Thank you, sir. Uh, I love you. There we go. He's gone. Uh, Hayden and Indian Ben, that's where the young man is. Go out. Fill that truck up. We're doing great so far this year. It's been awesome. Getting the truck filled up on Thursdays. A lot of folks dropping off at Porta Subs, which you can do, uh, which is amazing. So good deal all the way around. Brady, it's time now for you to give us all the news. A little late, but that's okay. Uh, it's called the Brady Report, and it's brought to you by our friends at Hooters. I should just really be more prepared than I am. There it is. Uh, Hooters is your Gold Cup headquarters. You like that soccer? Without those marmy Europeans, this is what World Cup soccer is. It's North American soccer, the way soccer was designed <laughs> to be played. It's just Mexico, Canada, Caribbean. Yeah. They don't go Central America? Yes. Oh, they're in it too? Yeah, Central, North, and Caribbean. Oh, That's okay. It. Gotcha. Uh, anyway, you can watch those games uh, with some hot wings and an ice cold Michelob Ultra. The uh, CONCACAF. Yeah, it sounds terrible. It sounds like something you would. Kick on a woman. Sounds like it's on my elbow. <laughs> Kicked her in the conca calf. Can you believe it? She lived? Yeah. She's swollen, but uh, she's never going to use her conca calf again. <laughs> That's for sure. Give her a good boot. Uh, anyway, enjoyed it. Uh, Michelob Ultra on special only at Hooters. Brady reported. Good Thursday morning to you, Phoenix. Hello, world. Hi. Happy National Give Something Away Day. All right. Toledo, you got a couple <laughs> monuments you could pass on? <laughs> got a sign. Somebody want it? couple of baseless fun facts. Technically, the president is not supposed to salute to mil- military officers because even though he's commander-in-chief, he's a civilian. Oh. 
the first president started saluting? Uh, I want to say Trump. Ronald Reagan. <laughs> was it Reagan? Yeah. There was an infamous game of roulette in Monte Carlo on, on August 18th, 1913, where the ball fell on black 26 times in a row. Whoa. Oh, man. Gamblers lost millions expecting it to land on red along the way, making the gam- gambler's fallacy famous. It's, that's the false notion that independent events of chance must somehow even out. Yeah, well, random acts of chance are called that for a reason. You don't know where it's going. But <laughs> right. it does very strangely balance out when you start dealing with chance on large scales. It did for me the following night. Remember that? I remember that you went red, trip? red, black, yeah. red, black. Brady's making a killing just switching. Then the next night? 26 times black, though. That's that's a lot of people losing houses. By the age of 32, you've been alive for over 1 billion seconds. I guess that's okay. You're approaching 2 billion. Yeah, you Congratulations. 2 billion seconds under your belt. I feel it, man. <laughs> Every second. <laughs> And now, that's two billion, folks. This calls for some sort of a reward, I think, some ice cream, maybe <laughs> grainers. Little reminder for everyone tomorrow Krispy Kreme offers uh, the $1 birthday dozen with any dozen donuts purchased. What's that? They're celebrating their birthday. What's that? So you buy a dozen donuts, you get another dozen for a dollar. Oh, jeez. So oh, you get 24 perfect. donuts. Are you Important. getting a kickback on that? Yeah. Maybe. No, but he'll be participating. <laughs> you need 24 donuts, though. Birthday. <laughs> Kirby wanted donuts. Kirby gets donuts. <laughs> Kirby rolled That's in. That's right. Her birthday's right coming up. up. I know what oh, you're doing. Oh, I know who's getting birthday yeah. donuts. She showed up yesterday, and I put my shoes next to hers. That's the first time I've seen her feet in person since the announcement. She was wearing my shoes, too, the ones that I bought that I thought were men's shoes. 12 and women's. Size 12, but it was a t- yeah. women's 12. She's in there. The Didn't American look- Gothic photo of you guys yesterday was oh. just... Standing there. Kirby's 16 feet tall. <laughs> yeah. I think she grows every day. Yeah. There's Ronnie standing there being as normal as Ronnie looks. You being you. And then there's Kirby. Just, <laughs> you rang. Like, Jesus, <laughs> when did you get so tall? <laughs> like, lurch She's now or 12. what? <laughs> yeah. First time Brett's seen her since uh, Porkopolis days. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. Back when she was, uh, you know. Diminutive. Busting tables. Three. Right. Yeah. Right. She's so tall. But she was running around and Ronnie was yelling at her. Yeah. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> Brady was doing nothing. Ronnie was getting mad. We were all very uncomfortable. Someone looked at the most popular ice cream truck treats in all 50 states. Okay. And the number one overall with nine states all have it was a Klondike bar. That's good. So kind of the ice cream truck, I never remember, at least in the neighborhoods that go around, they don't have them. Klondikes? Yeah. I don't know the menu, Brady. Classic ice oh, cream I sandwich yeah, for no. me. <laughs> the number two one, eight states, Choco Tacos. In an ice cream truck? Yeah. Don't and Arizona bomb is pops? one of those states. That's what I thought. I, thought yeah, I just got right. popsicles. And st- I know they had other things. I never got ice cream. Oh, no, yeah, I always you're, got ice cream sandwiches. Uh, you guys ice cream didn't grow up in Arizona. Pops. Right. Yeah. You don't get ice cream at the ice cream right. truck in Arizona. And they had it's, snow cones a lot, too. Yeah. The snow cone guy. Oh, yeah. snow cone guy. Mr. Lee in my neighborhood. Asian dude. Fresh off the boat. Had that. Amazing ice cream truck. We'd bang on his door at home and make him. We didn't even wait for the ice cream truck. Go to his house. Yeah, we'd knock on his door. <laughs> Mr. Lee. We'd have a buck 75 and wanted two Pepsis and a bomb pop. Okay, hold on. Gee, cry. <laughs> <laughs> and he'd wander out, and his gorgeous daughter Jennifer would lay out in her bikini in the yard. Real long Asian girl. <laughs> Most of them have the drumsticks. Who? Asian ladies? The ice cream trucks. Oh. <laughs> Oh, you're being Asian ladies have uh, sexes two towards their legs. <laughs> <laughs> nice drumsticks. <laughs> um, Apple's weather app. I don't know if you ever noticed this. It will never say 69 degrees. All right. <laughs> Someone realized that Apple's weather app won't tell you if it's 69 degrees out. It'll say either 68 or jump to 70. Really? Because we're all so dirty? So they're dirty? against the eighth grade humor. Um or something going on. Someone brought up the point that uh, must be sourcing their weather data in Celsius, converting it to Fahrenheit. Twenty degrees Celsius is sixty-eight degrees Fahrenheit. Twenty-one degrees is sixty-nine point eight. Oh, so, so it jumps up no matter what. Round it up. 
I've always learned because of math that Celsius is simply uh, to find what Fahrenheit is, double it and add 30. That's how you find out from – like if somebody says it's 25 degrees Celsius, double that, add 30. It's 85. Pretty close. Oh, is that right? Four, nine, no, somewhere. it's 80. 80, sorry. Yeah. See, this is why I can't. But I'm saying yeah. the double it. plus 30 is pretty close. It's like Yeah, it's, it's within a few degrees. degrees. Then you start getting yeah. screwy when it gets to like 105. And so you can't really do it. Like if it's 105, you take off 30. And what is that, 75? Sure. <laughs> and then you get to half of that, which I can't do. That's why we just stick to one. Brett, you're being suspicious of the quiet. 37 and a half. Math is not my strong subject. Brett and I both went to Rhodes Junior High. It it stopped there. They had no good math teachers there? I'm sure the teachers I didn't get any. I just didn't (laughs) register with much head in me. In a new poll asking Americans, uh, would they reject a trip to the moon? 42% said they would. Even if the the question was, would you go to the moon? If your safe return to Earth could be guaranteed, 40% would turn it down. They said. Why? 50, 50% would go. Uh, men were more likely to want to go. Well, here's one of the reasons. It's a three-day flight. <laughs> so what? No, thanks. <laughs> it's not Southwest but, Airlines. But you have a lot of people. That, that's one of the factors. The other factor is people that have really the, uh, fear of flying, fear of heights, claustrophobia. But it's guaranteed what? claustrophobia. It sounded like the other thing. <laughs> yes. It's a fear of foam, I think. <laughs> claustrophobia. They're too old. There's no point in going. There's no point in anything we do. And, uh, you watch TV, there's no point in anything. That's and the whole secret like, of life. What's some the point? Some can't even play along. There's no such thing as a guaranteed safe return. Yeah, those people you don't even know. That's, just, that's the douche factor in all fun questions. You can't guarantee that. What would you rather do, this or this? I'd kill. Just play along. The uh, but the flight. I mean, three, three days. days so yeah, a little I mean, inconvenience that, to that be. That kind a, of uh, rules out right now. I'd feel like if I w- would go to uh, China or Japan, the, the twenty-three hour flight, like to Singapore. Right, because it's on an airplane. Brutal. You're not going. You're going to China where people are. You're not going to the moon. There's nothing special about flying to China I'd, compared I'd to that. I'd rather go there. China. Of course you would. You'd rather there's no restaurants in- <laughs> on the moon. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, What's the old, payoff? Frozen it's tang. not cheese. I know that. Right. We found that out. <laughs> no, you'd do it for the tang. Three-day flight. The tang and dip and, and dots. Hip and dots. That's the stupidest maybe. thing I've ever heard. Inconvenience of a three-day flight. Make that a little snappier there, Chief. Maybe I'll get on your spaceship. <laughs> That's crazy. Three, think of what you just said. Takes too long. To get to the moon. Maybe Bezos dong rocket can do it quicker. Three days is too much for this guy to go to the moon. And Toledo went it took six days to go to Montana <laughs> yeah. in the in the Taurus. Well, he didn't have the the power in that four cylinder that he'd created with the six thousand pound anchor he had behind it. And this, I mean I'm talking about his head. <laughs> That's terrible, Brady. You're getting on that. We're going on that trip. Three days guaranteed safety. Awesome. You're right. I could binge some Netflix. I was going to say, you, you, the, as much crap TV as you sit through, finish the rest of Bosch. You maybe can, I don't even know what that is. You could make it through Bosch and then start over, <laughs> and then Project Runway or whatever the hell else you watch. <laughs> Love Island. <laughs> I Love Island's good. Twenty-nine-year-old Louisiana man named Justin Pope was arrested Tuesday after he admitted stealing a ring from his girlfriend and pawning it for forty-five hundred bucks. Then he used the money. To make a down payment on an engagement ring for the same that? woman. Oh, what? Oh. The theft, pawning, and ring purchase happened back in 2019, but he's just now made the confession. It's unclear if he got caught or his conscience gave in to him, but in any event, he told the police he went back to the pawn shop a month later, tried to get the ring back, but was told it had been melted down for scrap. Oh, boy. He's facing a theft charge. He's free on bond. Oh, and his girlfriend. They're, they're She's not, not happy with yeah. him. Right. They're not together. Didn't work that out. I hope he got the ring back. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Picture, Justin. Oh, he looks exactly No, right. no, the ring. It Just, got melted down. Uh, the, scrap. The, the new one? The one that he pawned. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. There's a lot going on with that relationship. Yeah, yeah and maybe. the other one, he just t- it was a down payment. <laughs> Jeez. That's a rule I'd have. Down payment on a wedding ring means you're not ready. <laughs> Don't you think? Yes. I feel the same way about wedding venues. We need our deposit for today. 
Well, that makes sense. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm I wanted it. instant. I'm talking go about. Yeah, I'm talking about. Because with like, you, it's a being able to afford it. You're showing up. You're saving space because your dad won't be there to walk anybody down the aisle. But the, uh, the, the that makes sense. They have to hold the date. The wedding ring is putting you in debt. You're going to be making payments and stuff. I think if you're in debt for your wedding ring, you yep. should probably wait until you can afford. Paid in full. Yeah, but you're in debt after the wedding. These oh, people spend 40, ridiculous. 50 grand on a wedding. I don't understand. Start off is. your relationship 40, 50 grand in debt. I don't get people that leverage their yeah. wedding. If you don't have the money to do it, have a small one. Right. Or wait until you can afford a big one. Do not jump into that with money problems. Oh, the worst. The comedian that was a couple years ago that came in from uh, Lebanon, talked about his wedding. His buddy took a loan for $1.5 million to have the wedding. But he goes, the reason being is we invite 3,000 guests oh, and, they and the minimum yeah. gift is 1,500 bucks. Yeah. They goes, force so they, them to give gifts so they actually make money. You can spend a million They make a, a couple of million couple on their wedding. Jeez. Now that's worth it. Um, last story is uh, from Brazil. Uh, President Jair Bolsonaro. Positive, that's right. He's 66 years old. <laughs> He needed emergency surgery after suffering persistent hiccups for 10 days. The reason why, uh, he was campaigning in 2018 and got shanked in the gut. <laughs> it and took so a the knife complications, in the gut. Yep. He's Harvey Keitel. You yep. got stabbed in the gut, President. He lost about 40% he of his it. blood when it happened, and uh, he's had several operations since the stabbing. And the most recent <laughs> side effect is his... Hiccuping. And you can't do that bumba butt dance they do in that Brazil where they smash that lady's butt in your face. <laughs> that should be coming up here pretty soon. It's, it's the, every day in Brazil if you want to. Oh, the, the butt. This bumba. Bumba or whatever those yeah. things where they smash your guys' faces into butt cracks. Big Brazilian butt cracks. Um, we got a couple of, uh, we'll end it real quick with a couple of radio videos. No, I have Har- Har- Harvey's in my head the whole, what was Joe thinking? <laughs> you got stabbed in the gut, kid. Okay, this is good already. Oh. It's the acting. Somebody's falling off a ladder. You got that one first? Yeah, we have the, yeah. uh, the uh, f- what is it called? The trust fall. Oh, no. This guy's doing it. That, and, off a ladder? Uh, well, he's got her two steps up. Is it a jackass trust fall? I don't know. The guy uh, loses his focus a little bit, <laughs> turns his back on her. Oh, no. Is this real? This is might be set, set up. up. Yeah, it um, sounds a little set up. It does. I mean, I. So she's on the first rung it. of the you ladder. You ready? Here we go. When I say let's do it. Okay, Laura, let's do it! All right, right. That's crazy. That's a set. No, it's a set. Yeah, it's but she's actually hurt. Oh, it's a because comedy routine where she actually went out. You. Yeah, because she has okay. a bounce mat, but she uh, right. took a little... No, this looks like a bad yeah. acting. This looks like a terrible improv class. Brady, we expect these better, better. Brady. Come on, Brady. We expect, you've been doing so good. All right, then. This one. I saw this. This is amazing. I don't think this is real either. Scram. Oh, yeah. It is? Oh, yeah. They just tilted the camera, Brady. Yeah. This no, is they a camera didn't. trick. Ah, ah, gravity ah, doesn't work. They got way. it wedged in there. Maybe. The tires are on the side. There's a chance of that. That's the power of a Jeep. Yep. Their torque What's is... What's that model? I think that's the Gladiator. That's just, yeah, the okay. Gladiator. At, I've, I've read about this. Their torque and their four-wheel drive is as such, and I don't know what that means, but I've read it, that if it weren't for gravity, they could climb a 90-degree wall. I don't know. That is 90 degrees there. Yeah, but they've got the... He's right. They've got the side the tires side on that. Wedged. They, they squeezed it in. Still wouldn't risk that. There's no possible way. But there's, a, there's an awful lot of tire tread like that gets done a lot. Right, yeah. And, and then you got to drive down that thing. Well, not necessarily. There could be an outlet later. Oh. On a one-way road. That's pretty neat, though. Only in and a And you're Jeep. right. Might not be as steep as it looks on the camera angle there. It's pretty steep. Yeah. That Try that in your taco, degrees. jackass. I'm just, I'm just yelling at the guy that talks to me about Toyotas. <laughs> I actually really like his truck. Jeremy's asking to take over the radio video segment. Yeah, I think maybe Jeremy should after that one. That first one. A little punishment on that. What happened to girls getting hurt? Yeah. All right. I got it. What do you want? Here, I got Let's one, too, from uh, this. Brett this Crandall here. sent one in. Yeah. Okay. Do this Who's first? Here. Oh, yeah, we saw this. Brady sent yeah. me this over vacation. Yeah. What is that, like half a house? There are some gems over In the vacation. wind. Is that a carport? Yeah, a carport blows over some person. That's like the hurricane in Florida, right? All right, and what's yours, Brett? Uh, let me see here. Let me pull it up. That's a good one there. That person's okay, though. They get up and start walking yeah. around. 
Brett Crandall just sent this one this into a us. weightlifter. Doing was a this the one against the wall? No. Uh, okay. Oh, this is a g- oh, oh, girl oh, weightlifter. Oh, 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 she tries to yeah. jump over a barbell and trips and then and does a somersault it, and it rolls, it rolls over, over her head. head. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like she's in great shape, though. Yeah. But deep down, still not an athlete. Oh, oh, oh. that was a good somersault. Yeah. She tried to go with it. Nice yeah. form. Yeah. <laughs> That's good that you're in shape. <laughs> you can pull that wheelchair all over the place now. Uh-uh. Well, there you go. Nice job. That's it. Uh, there goes your Brady Report. It's brought to you by Hooters. And Mick Ultra, CONCACAF. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that's right, Brett. Catch a little CONCACAF. Get your CONCACAF. Get your CONCACAF. And come by and I'll spit clean your CONCACAF. Uh, there you go. It's your Brady Report. It's 98. It's out of control now. You've been listening to Holmberg's Morning Sickness Podcast, brought to you by our friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, skeet, repeat. Eric'sFamilyBBQ.com.